So it's an amazing day to be in New York. We had just a press conference regarding a task force creation to promote cricket in New York State. I think uh, organizations like APPAC uh, create a, a play a very crucial role as we know that sports have shown to lower the crime rates and also bring inclusivity to all the communities and I think that's why it's very important when we talk about you know changing the narratives of Pakistani American and Muslim Americans in New York State. I think it is important that we look at not only political but all the venues to really change the narrative and sports have shown to be one of those avenues that when people come together for the same sports and with the passion for the same sports, uh, the divisive, divisiveness and the walls that we have amongst our each other usually go down. So um, I've always heard about cricket as a sport, it's the second most popular sport in the entire world, um, and we really need to be promoting it right here in New York City. Um, I've heard from leagues across the state that say with good marketing, promotion, government awareness that we can really expand the sport, and I'm looking forward to that. So what do you think what uh, this bill would mean to cricket in New York State? So cricket is an incredibly important sport all around the world, and we want to bring it here in New York. We passed the bill in both houses. We're just waiting for the governor to sign it into law and this is essentially going to promote the game of cricket and uh, so that all of us can enjoy it a lot more. All right? Cricket is extremely popular in our communities. We have teams from every part of the Caribbean, uh, leagues from every part of the Caribbean, Jamaica, Guyana, Haiti, um, Pakistan, India, um, Bangladesh. They're all teams that are very active. There's a Sri Lankan team that I heard about as well. Uh, so cricket is extremely popular in Queens, and if we put a couple of, we could, Queens could hold at least three major fields where you could have uh, uh, intramural games, and it could at least use two stadiums where we could hold games that would be uh, held by the international sanctioning body that would approve fields, and they would st all stay busy. If you go out any day during the week, you'll find people playing cricket somewhere in Queens. APPAC has been a leading organization in uh, uh, helping uh, both legislative body, Senate, New York State Senate, New York State Assembly, in drafting the bill, and we have been a part of this process throughout uh, throughout the uh, you know life cycle of uh, uh, developing of uh, this this uh, this le legislation. Now, uh, at this point, the bill has been passed to create to create an empire state task force to promote cricket within New York State. What's going to happen next is. This bill going to be signed by Governor Cuomo. Once it's signed by Governor Cuomo, then they have to start working on establishing a, 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 a task force. And that's the point, you know, where we wanted to reach so that, you know, we can start uh, working on uh, development of cricket within New York State. What a fantastic time to be alive. This statement could not have been more perfect for today. As someone who grew up with madly in love with the sports of cricket in Pakistan, I, in my wildest imagination, had never imagined that I would be part of such a great initiative in New York today. But this is not something that I can take the credit for. And this press conference was preceded by the work of visionary leadership of the two of the greatest leaders in Albany, Senator Kevin Thomas and Assemblywoman Neely Rozek. Both of them have shown what it means to be elected representative. Someone who truly represents all of the constitution of constituents of New York State and not just their own represent district uh, representative districts. Creation of this task force again shows that New York is leading the rest of the country by example. But that would not be possible without people who have the commitment to lead. So I want to thank both of you, Senator Thomas and Assemblywoman Rozek for this initiative and hopefully we will be doing a lot of league matches in future and you will be coming out to see us playing. Thank you very much.